Hey guys, it's Nyamla Gaming here with another Clash of Clans YouTube video. And first off, I want to tell you guys that the, um, not raffle, but the competition for the iTunes gift card is ending very soon. I'm going to put that link in the description below to that video and in like this little window on the right uh, corner of your screen. And so please go check that out if you'd like to win an iTunes gift card. And anyway, let's get on with the video. So this video is about why revenging is super important in Clash of Clans, and I'll tell you a couple tips. Well, first of all, you can visit people. As you can see, it's very important, and the reason is that is so you can plan out your attack before you attack, so you know exactly where you're going to attack and how the defensive structures work. So you can see, oh, well, this mortar covers this much space. So that's very important. You can also plan out your army style, and it's just really great. So actually, this guy's a lot of loot, so I'm actually going to attack him. And let's go. Here we go. He is down here. And revenge! And hopefully you don't, he doesn't have a shield, and yep, yeah, he doesn't. So let's see, I already planned out that I'm going to attack from up here, and first I need an archer to pick off this building. And as I saw, because I already scouted it, I know that's going to be out of range of the archer tower. So I'm going to put down a couple more right there, and they're barely out of range, but that's good, because you can plan that out. Then this is also out of range, and I forgot to check if there were clan castle troops in the clan castle or not. I'm not sure exactly, but that shouldn't be a problem. Now I'm going to lightning spell the mortar twice. So I can get that out of the way, because as we know, the wizard tower does not reach the storage. And so then we're going to drop some barbarians, some archers, take out the last surrounding structures, drop a couple goblins to help with that. And once those are gone, we should be able to take out that archer tower, which is the last defense in range of that gold storage, and we'll be in business to go. Sorry, there might be a little bit of background noise, it's just, um, yeah. Here we go, beautiful. Now we can drop a couple goblins to start to attack that wall. And then some archers behind some more barbarians. Just kind of trickle them in. I'm only looking to get one storage this time. Because it's very easy to get one. And you'll still get a ton of loot. Around 130k gold. Which is great. And maybe even both elixir storages if we get pretty lucky. So let's see. Come on, mortar miss. Okay, mortar, come on. We don't need you right now. Come on, come on. Yes, good. It's going for the barbarians. Let's drop a couple. Dang it. Go for... Oh my god, I hate how they go around. Once we get all that gold, nice, get all that gold. Now let's try to get that elax, last elixir pump. Drop a couple more troops in. Why do you, oh my gosh, take that out quickly. Drop some more of these guys. Just spread them out so the wizard tower can't reach them. Oh, you stoop. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. That's okay, that's okay. Come on, grab grab it. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, go for the storage. Go for the storage. No! Eh, we still got a ton of loot, which is really nice. Or I think we got. But this video is just mainly to show you why revenging is really important. And as you see, I didn't execute this thing perfectly, but it is still very important. And let's let this, actually, there's no more loot to be collected. And as you can see, 92k gold, 61k elixir is not bad for town of level 6. That's actually great. I can actually upgrade a few of my walls. Actually, I can upgrade four of the walls. I always try to keep a little bit of extra gold, but there we go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Neon Black Gaming. And I hope this helped you with why revenging is super important. And see you in the next video.